Welcome back to Page Key Tech, where we are building a statically generated blog using Python and nothing but Python and HTML. So here's where we are, and what we're going to do today is take this blog summary post page and add pagination. So at the bottom, there's going to be a link to page two, if there are enough posts to warrant a page two, and then a page three, and so on. And if there's a previous page for page two, plus there's going to be a previous button. So let's figure out how we're going to do that. So my initial thoughts on this, currently we're receiving all the posts and subsetting the first five. I think we can use the blog.html for all of the posts and just pass in a different posts variable. And we can also say uh, something along the lines of previous path and next path or previous index and next index. And, uh, if it's set to nothing, then we don't show the button. So let's see if we can make that happen from the code side. Okay, so we have a little bit of progress here. If we go to slash blog, I did some more posts to uh, fill things out a bit here. And if we go to page slash one, which it should be two, that's a problem. Uh, then we get some stuff. And then we go to page two and we get some more stuff. We only get three here because this is the last post. So what are the problems here? We need to work on this this numbering system and we need some buttons that might be it one other problem is that these extra posts that i added all seem to be on february 2nd when they should really be on the 20th which is today if you check out see it says 220 i'm not sure why these are all showing up as the 2nd of february so i have to look into that okay that was a really easy fix i was doing percent m i should have been doing percent d pretty obvious really uh, but somehow that flew past me. And coincidentally, all the posts in February are on 02. That should have been a tip. Anyway, let's do some buttons. Real quick, I just added one to the blog path and to the previous and next indices. And that gave us pages two and three instead of pages one and two after the original page, which is page one. So on to buttons. Okay, everything seems to be working pretty well now. If you hit older posts, you get blog page two. Hit older posts again, you get blog page three, and you can go back, blog page two, and slash blog. How did we do it? All we had to do was check if it has previous or if it has next, and display the buttons if so. And there was just one special case for going back to the original blog path where we had to just check if we're going back to number one. There is no page one, there's just slash blog. So we go back to that. Last thing I'm gonna do is just set the pagination to 10. And I should put that in the config, but I don't feel like it, so I'm not going to do it. Oh, look at that. I found something hard-coded here. So I'm just going to pass the pagination in. That's terrible, horrible practice. I should use config. But now we get 10 posts, and we can go older, and we only get three. And we go back, and we get 10 posts. It all works just fine. So I'm going to commit this. And now that that's done, I'll go add pagination to the config. And we'll just call it pagination. I'll add it to my example config as well. I just renamed that variable to be lowercase and we'll call it config pagination. And then out here, we'll just change that as well. Make sure it still works. Yep, looks good. And that's it. So now we have pagination on our blog page. Thank you again for tuning in. Yep, stay tuned. We're going to do more of this.